This is now the sixth video in this tutorial series where I'm attempting to animate this uh, skeleton model. And in the previous videos we finished up doing the hands and added a chin. And watching the playback on that video I noticed that I'd actually made a small mistake and I'd like to um, sort of explain it. And what I did was in the last video when resizing this section of bones as well as the IK section of bones I commented that I would grab the bones and move them along the Y axis and of course the Y axis travels the wrong way along these bones so I thought I would explain that because um, well I actually made a mistake and normally I would have used the Z axis but apparently that when I grab those and I press the Y axis at first they'll move back and forth but if I press the Y axis a second time they go to global Y or local Y and they're now traveling along the Y axis as the bone sees Y axis and let's just turn on the axis to see that oops wrong one as you can see all of the bones in this row have the Y axis is pointing up and down and this is the why the reason why I could limit to the Y axis and I'd actually done that by pressing the button twice the Y key twice to limit to Y local rather than Y global. The next thing I'm going to want to add is some hip bones and I've been considering how exactly to go about that one and I'm not terribly sure about what I've come up with First off though, I'm going to center my cursor onto the pelvis bone and so I'll snap my cursor there One thing that I notice is some directions are not so easy to get Blender to rotate in. But I'm going to turn my guy upside down here. And I think that should work for me. So I'm going to add a bone. And I'm going to grab it along X. and type in 0.5 just to offset that then I'm going to add another bone grab it limit to X and this time type in minus 0.5 that's going to send it in the other direction and I should be able to work with that from there so I'll grab the ends of these two bones look at them from side view and grab them along Y and simply pull them forward now I'm going to size them 
and pull them outwards until they hit the mash. And I'm thinking that those will do. So I'll name them. Hip, right. And hip, left. Then I'll parent them. And those would be parented to the pelvis bone, which is right there. And this one, the same thing, to the pelvis bone. And then I'm also going to need to repair it my upper leg. And I'll parent that to hip right and this one to hip left. And that fixes the parentage on those all so that they're in a proper uh, hierarchy there. The next thing I'm going to want to add is some bones for the eyes but before I try to do that I'm going to cut out of my video to see how much time I have left. So I'll be back in just a second well I don't have very much time left so I'm going to try to move quickly here. I have selected the eyeballs only and I'm going to move those to a layer. So I'll move them to an empty layer and then I'll go over to that layer. Tab into edit mode. Deselect into wireframe and look at those from the top view. Now what I want here is to place my cursor into the center of these eyes and it's not hard to see where the center line of the sphere is so I'm going to use that center line of the sphere to center my cursor. I'll snap my cursor to that selection tab back into object mode and go back to my first layer. I'll look at that from a top view. Then I'm going to rotate and I'll rotate so that the model is laying face down on my display or actually laying face up on my display I should say and select the armature tab into edit mode and add a bone and I'll go back into object mode go back to the layer with my eyes in it into edit mode deselect Zoom in on that and select the other center of the other eye. Snap my cursor to that. Return to object mode. Return to the first layer and again use the space bar. Oh, first off, select my armature rigging. Go into edit mode, press the space bar and add a bone. Now, I'm going to go quickly into object mode and just select that so we can have a look. And as you can see, this has brought the bones pretty much through the center of the eye. And the eyes are offset out a little bit, but that won't really matter because as long as this pivot is in the center of the sphere, the eye should move properly. So I'll continue with that in my next video, and until then, happy modeling.